you've almost certainly heard of the golden ratio before. It pops up all over the world of mathematics and has rich connections to art, nature, architecture, and many other subjects. Let's briefly revisit the definition of the golden ratio. Suppose we have a rectangle with side lengths 1 and x. This rectangle is golden if the ratio x over 1 is equal to the ratio x plus 1 over x. We can cross multiply and rearrange terms to get this quadratic equation. Taking the positive root, we get the golden ratio, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. We usually use the Greek letter phi to represent the golden ratio. Folding a golden rectangle is actually pretty easy. First, we crease the paper in the middle. Then, we crease the diagonal of one of the rectangles formed. Finally, we bring the edge of the paper to match the diagonal. Now, if we fold the paper back across from this point, the resulting rectangle is golden. Showing that this rectangle is golden takes a bit more effort than folding it did. We'll make use of a theorem called the Angle Bisector Theorem. It states that for any triangle, if we bisect one of these angles, then the ratio of the length of this leg to the length of this one is equal to the ratio of the length of this segment to the length of this one. I'll let you prove this one on your own down in the comments. The theorem can be proven fairly easily using the sine law. Returning to our rectangle, let's use the angle bisector theorem to show that this rectangle is golden. We'll start by assigning the square sides of unit length. After our first two folds, we have a diagonal of length root 5 over 2. Here's where we use the angle bisector theorem. Since the ratio of this segment to this segment is 1 over root 5, if we label this segment x, we have that x plus x times root 5 equals 1. Solving for x, we get that x equals 1 over 1 plus root 5. Using similar triangles, we find that the length of this segment over here is 2 over 1 plus root 5. Look familiar? It's the reciprocal of the golden ratio. Multiplying both segments by the golden ratio confirms that we've folded a golden rectangle. In a future video, we'll take a look at the surprising ways in which the golden ratio appears in some other foldable figures. For now, if you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for more foldable math.